No, no, when we no. We get to Stegosaurus. We'll double check. No, Scott and I looked. We, we checked. Okay. It's, well, it's that would be good to know before I sounded like a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> This episode is just everyone being like, I think I remember this thing about. And then like, oh no, I can't. And then Scott's like, no, you didn't, moron. You f***ing buffoon, you imbecile child. Scott's been secretly doing a PhD on Stegosaurus this entire time. Hi, everybody. Back by popular demand. Not really. Nobody cares about Asian Stegosaurus. Except us. Uh, Paleontologists rank the dinosaur designs of Jurassic World Evolution 2. So in this episode, we have our first Asian stegosaur, Huayangosaurus. What is its species name again? Does anybody have it up? Oh, we know God. nothing about these animals. Um, <laughs> Tai Bai and wait, that start. Tai Bai. So just to introduce ourselves for any new viewers. Uh, I'm James Napoli. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences and North Carolina State University. I'm Amelia Zietlow. I'm a PhD candidate at the American Museum of Natural History. I'm, I'm sc- God. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you already went. No! Preparators will not be overlooked any longer. Well, pays attention to Alex, they call. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. It's, it's... Fine. Let's. So I, I can hear the fing Yangosaurus in the background, too. <laughs> and it sounds like, like the bellows. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I like f- tie fighters. Um. <laughs> oh god, we're losing it. We're... <laughs> Come on, we got to get through. We're some off more to end. a good start. I'm Scott Johnston, the vertebrate paleontology fossil preparator and technician at the Harvard University Museum of Comparative Zoology. I'm Alex Rubenstahl. I'm a PhD candidate at Yale University, and I'm Dalton Meyer also a PhD candidate at Yale University. And together, we're the Skeleton Crew. Yeah, why don't you show us Swyangosaurus? Sure, here's this one by the water. He's having a little walk in the yell. Hello. They're very cute. I love their And screens. they're small. Yeah, how big is Swyangosaurus? It's not very large, right? No, think- I'll go into first person view to give us an idea. I think the real one's like four meters long. Oh, cute little guy. I think this is about correct. Like, this is more or less the right size. What I'm getting from the design is, like, large domestic pig. Yeah. It's a pig. Well, it's a it's a classic. It's a stegosaur. Not a stegosaur id, but a stegosaur in the more general sense. It's got a spikes on its back and tail. Most stegosaurs have spines as opposed to like the flattened plates. Alex, to piggyback off of what you said, you said it's a stegosaur, not a stegosaurid. Um, And that's true because this is hands down the most basal stegosaur that we know of. Well, from good evidence. There's Mm -hmm. some tracks that possibly date to the middle Jurassic that might be stegosaurs. There's a South American uh, skull too, right? There is skull. Yeah, some some early stegosaur from South America, but nothing as complete as Huayangosaurus. The grass huh. is so tall. The, the grass is very tall, seated. and they're so short. Don't go into the long grass. Um, but so the interesting thing about their tail is, I've seen in several articles about them and on almost every reconstruction of Hoyangosaurus that they had at least possibly a tail club in addition to a thagomizer. I think I saw that as well, yeah. What? That's very cool. It looks like it has, at least in all of, uh, well, not all of, but most of the reconstructions I see right at the very end of its tail, right where the very tip would be, essentially a either one larger osteoderm or like two or three fused vertebrae right there. But what's interesting is I can't find a source for it. And I checked through that redescription of the postcrania and they don't mention it. Hmm. So is it something that could be in Chunkingosaurus? It's not. Interesting. 
Hmm. It's only referenced in Hoyangosaurus. Hmm. I see no mention of it elsewhere. Could it be in one of the other, like, 16,000 small stegosaurs from the Shaxi Meow formation? It's possible that it is something, because, right, a lot of these Chinese fossils are incredible. That's just, like, known. Someone knew about it, and there's no source for it because the specimen's never going to be described. I've heard at least one reference that there's a debate whether it was, whether it's pathologic or not, or whether it's a holdover from early Thyreophorans, because uh, that's the other thing about these guys is that essentially the biggest criticism I have with their design is they look too derived. They look too much like Stegosaurus. They're so far down the Stegosaur family tree, they should look a whole lot more like uh, like Scylitosaurus, but with spikes. Well, more spikes. Is that well, how you I say noticed... Scalitosaurus? Yeah, is that how you say I'm a Scalitosaurus kind of guy. Oh, no, I say Scylitosaurus. That's definitely wrong. All over again. <laughs> how do you um, pronounce Scalitosaurus anyway? Well, on, on, on Scott's point, because we're mature scientists, something I do notice in this design that seems at least suggestive of that kind of more early early branching position is this model looks like it has additional osteoderms Mm -hmm. like on its side opposed to so that we have the osteoderms being scale large bony bones in the skin but it's got right it's got its big spines along its back and its tail it's got those huge shoulder spines that seem to be pretty widespread in the group although the big shoulder spines are also no, they not aren't. known from no they aren't Hyangosaurus anymore they're not in Hyangosaurus where are they from well they're so, also not widespread well i also Doesn't so i Hedrosaurus have them uh, and to nope to doesn't Mm-mm. i thought gigant it did. spinosaurus does though right gigant That's spinosaurus it. has real big ones i thought chunkingosaurus had them nope what so in, in <laughs> what looking, is happening this I know, I know. This was I, this was the the mini rabbit hole slash Hoyangosaurus based existential crisis that I went down at lunch today. Um, your colleagues that, must have been wondering what was going on as you just scrolled through papers, losing no, your mind. No, no, no. <laughs> Where are the parascapular spines? It's all so, a lie. when when I was reading through that read description. Um, It was mentioned in the section about dermal armor that in the Shaxi Meow, Corey, is that how you pronounce that? I think it's probably actually Shashi Meow. Shashi Meow? Um, In the Corey that's name is on, or formation that's name is on screen at the moment. Thank you, Future James. Um, There have been found several as James said, parascapular spines, the term that we use for the big shoulder spikes that have been found, but they're not associated with anything. Oh god, so there's some like some unknown just floating around. eldritch parascapular spine beast. <laughs> so what if they're shed a... teeth of something even bigger? Oh my god. <laughs> it goes deeper. It's a giant saber-toothed gasosaurus or something. <laughs> What if they're drop what if they're dropping them like deer antlers? Oh. Shut up. No, you they, take that they back. Can't, Say they, psych not, right now. They're no, not I'm doing making that. making a joke. They're not doing that. I, Just, I I think weaponizing bone cancer is probably something that only happened once in evolution. Probably. Despite what Camp Cretaceous might suggest in one of the worst scenes from that show. What do they suggest? They, they, he, like, Darius finds, like, a stegosaurus plate on the ground. He's like, oh, they shed these annually, like, deer. It's like, Are you shitting me? No, they don't. Yeah, it's in the first season. Oh, my which God. Which I'm ashamed that I know and... <laughs> I came convert to, 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 to a... Wow. That's not filling me with any pride. You, you see, this is how uninteresting I find Hyangosaurus. Is that, <laughs> first of all, its behavioral animation is it thinking about hitting the other one with its tail yeah, and then not of... doing it. They're friends. And second, that the only things we can talk about are where on the phylogeny this goes and how much fossil material is attributed to it. So, like, what actual... The, the, there's a head, right? There's a lot of it. 
Oh god, the feet. I, I, I started looking at the feet. Oh god, do not look at Ornithiskian feet. Um, Amelia, you were gonna say? I was just gonna say from, like, the very superficial research I'd been doing, which was Googling it, it looked like there was fossil material for at least most of the skeleton. Yeah, although I was, uh, like, I was checking the paper and it seemed like the Maidman and Al kind of removed a lot of material from it. I don't know how much that affects it, or if there's, like, other skeletons that still include that. Because they basically, they talked about a lot of postcranial material, including the parascapular spines that were found in the same quarry at the same level as the holotype of Huayangasaurus. And they were like, but they're not from the same thing. And I, I don't know if it's just that we don't have a quarry map that shows how they were found to know if they belong with the rest of the specimen or not, or if there's like good reason to suspect that they're from a different species. I, I don't know. Uh, what I find kind of telling is the the museum mount of it doesn't have them. Hmm. I would have preferred it to be a very big spiky boy. Or a small spiky boy. This is troubling news. Do we have its tail spikes? I mean, apparently we have... I Yes. Because we also... I mean, everyone... I hope so. Let's put it that way. Because uh, people give it the Thagavisor and the little club at the end of its tail. So I at least hope that that's based on more than vibes. Oh, Scott. This is distressing. Okay, hang on, this is, this is cute. Maybe, oh. Nope. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Wyangasaurus is, it actually displays a unique tra a trait where they could occupy the same physical space as one another. It's physically intangible and gross. So it's with phasing. reference to the shoulder spines, like, is there any, pa I don't, I don't know ornithoscenes where, is there any like phylogenetic signal to which ones have them versus don't have them? Or is it random? Or is the problem we don't know where this thing goes? No, I think we know where this thing goes. Okay. But yeah. like, I, think I don't it's, know. I think it's that we just don't know the distribution of them well enough. Okay. And that they've been kind of erroneously assigned apparently to different taxa and like it's hard to discern what's like the literature versus what's just like popular reconstructions but we and, do uh, know some stegosaurs had these things yes we know some we of them had it just two we can say confidently i am in the character matrix from the paper oh. Character in the matrix. Matrix. Seven. Wow, entering the matrix state one. Oh my god he's red pilled a is it just killed? Kentrosaurus and like against Spinosaurus? Okay, cor correct me if I'm wrong, and I probably am. I feel like I, I remember. I think so. That Kentrosaurus didn't actually have them, and we were wrong. Oh my God! What is but happening? I'm almost Shut certainly misremembering. Stop. I'm almost certain. Does Gigant Spinosaurus not have gigant spines anymore? Is it just a saurus? <laughs> Do they change it its name in that case? It can't. G gigant Spinosaurus is only that big sh shoulder spine I'm, I'm almost are you sure. kidding me? no there isn't nope nope there's more to it than that i've seen okay. some drawings of oh, the holotype God. and it's 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 also it's the one from the other crush. side so in the matrix here they oh have God. scored this trait as present only for kentrosaurus but unknown for tuojangosaurus hesperosaurus dacentaurus and huayangosaurus okay so we're, they are in kentro right everyone's happy there is a god. Could they drop off? Probably no. Not. Maybe they Alligators don't shed, shed their osteoderms. <laughs> but what if? Just, what just, if dinosaurs were weird, though? Just pop it out. What right. I forgot. Weird? What if dinosaurs were just weird, though? Oh, oh, I, I think I know what it is. Because they're, they're placed in a kind of weird, weird spot where they are facing backwards toward the tail. Maybe they shot them. Ooh. Right, well, fire them like spear guns. Like a porcupine is erroneously stated to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. God, you've zoomed and enhanced to such an amazing oh degree. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's it's almost soy faced. Its oh. eyes are so pretty. It is a, a pretty guy. How you know are, are its pupils horizontal? No, no there's no big old circles. Oh, I see. It's just the glare, and I'm blind and stupid. That's okay. Yes. Right. We just should, we should. just those three things. We should have like names, like semicolon for these episodes, and, and this one should be everything everyone thought they knew about Stegosaurus is wrong, was was, was stupid. And they wrong. should have been afraid to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious.
delete this. <laughs> so, can I ask a stupid question? Yes, that's all we've been doing this episode because no one knows anything. That's true. Um, we really. Except we for should... Scott. Right. Scott thank, knows things. Thank God Scott, Scott, Scott read up on Stegosaurs. My brain is too full of theropod anatomy to fit any ornithischian anatomy into it. Um, okay. Shouldn't this have a beak? Yes. Okay. I'm glad something I thought was correct. Well, so imagine, if you will, a beak covered in skin for some reason. <laughs> right, because it's, it's a uniting feature of ornithischians that they have a predentary that has, like, beaky. Right, right. Except for Hungingosaurus. Which... <laughs> well, also, the Stegosaurus model in this game is very lippy. I thought the... But the one from The Lost World isn't lippy. It's got a beak. It's nope. Not... The, the model from The Lost World doesn't have a... It has a beak. But the because other models have lips. Like I don't this. think they used a different model in this game. I think that was just in the oh. last game that it had a different model. That's big sad. What? No, no, when we no. we get to Stegosaurus, we'll double check. No, Scott like, and I oh, looked. We, we checked. Okay. It's, well, it's that would be good to know before I sounded like a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is just everyone being like, I think I remember this thing about And then like, oh no, I checked. And then Scott's like, no, you didn't, moron. <laughs> you buffoon uh, <laughs> imbecile child scott's been secretly doing a phd on stegosaurus this entire time this is actually his defense this is kind of haunting can we i don't like can we talk about the head so we can move away from this still image would we be able to see the thing we want to see i um, checked and it doesn't happen oh big yeah thing. so one of one of the features that's kind of key to Hoyangosaurus here is it's so again a common theme here it's so far down the stegosaur family tree that it's the only stegosaur known that actually has premaxillary teeth so teeth right at the front of its uh right at the front of its face there so it seems that uh, at least according to that paper i read that uh ankylosaurs and stegosaurs lost their teeth independently of each other which is kind of interesting because they're closely related. And uh, yeah, and I know, Alex, you were going to say things about Sheiks. I meant that mostly as a troll, but Ornithischians definitely had Sheiks, and if you don't think so, you're wrong. Well, the, to be clear, they probably didn't have, they didn't have Sheiks in the sense of mammalian Sheiks, but there's probably oh. at least skin. There. They had tissue. They had skin there, and... Right. Underlying tissue. Their bone is excavated to make room for the skin they had there. And and yet we've had 30 years of debate about whether or not it was present. And we have things that have osteoderms in them, which you need skin to grow. They were actually levitating like the mountains on Pandora. Oh, they have unobtainium teeth. Right. The hallelujah osteoderms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you know what else I like about Hoyangosaurus? is most of the other things about him. I think he's adorable and he makes cute noises. Yeah, they do make very cute noises. I'm Let's very see. upset right now because to properly record our voice audio, I had to turn the audio on the stream off. Oh. And so I can't hear the cute noises it's making. They I get to relearn noises. what they are when I edit this. They sound like tiny little tie biters. It's great. Oh, no, that's uh, good. Oh, let's just release some and see them. See them come into the world. They just kind of oh, like. Oh. They just kind of come out. Yeah, there's not much special there. That one kind of looks mopey on the left a little bit. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's got Eeyore energy. Yeah. Well, it's a little sniffing at the air a bit. Yeah, low energy. Um, Does, please tell me it has only five fingers on the foot. Like, I know it shouldn't, but I thought I counted six for a second. No, it's just five. Just five. They're wrong, but they're not that wrong. You scream. Yeah. I. So, I like these animals. Yeah. But the one thing I kind of wish they did with this design is, like, as we're learning now, as we find articulated stegosaur remains, stegosaurs were a little bit more elegantly built than we usually see. Like, they're, they're often very lumpy. And I feel like we're learning that they had fairly long necks and they were, you know, in more upright posture and a narrower rib cage and everything. So I kind of wish it were a little less lumpy. But it's very yeah. cute. Honestly, there's something interesting going on in, like, the tail animations. Yeah, well, they did have ossified tendons in the tail. Which, which I like, it almost looks like the tails are animated to move with that anatomy in mind. Like, if you watch how the 
very end of the tail moves relative to the rest of it, it it feels like, especially looking at the tail from behind, it's like there's something you can see how like just kind of like the tip yeah. moves as like a whole unit, mm -hmm. right? Which I find very pleasing. Um, it's a good so animation. It is yeah. a good animation. Yeah. Uh, so James, you said that uh, you would like them to be built a little bit more elegantly and kind of more like stegosaurs. But again, like this guy kind of wasn't built like a stegosaur. Like that's true. That's true. One of the things that uh, struck me in the more accurate reconstructions of him is that uh, stegosaurs are kind of famous, especially Stegosaurus, for the much longer back legs than front legs. I mean, that's been reduced a little bit since the discovery of Sophie, but Hoyangosaurus, there's not much different. In really? the the forelimbs are about as long. They're a little bit shorter, but not much. And one of the key things that this design absolutely misses out on is the forelimbs are very gracile. Mm -hmm. This really looks like an animal kind of like, and I'll say it my pronunciation way again, Solidosaurus, that Bad. Uh, could, like you see in, oh, I'm going to keep doing this, like you see in Prehistoric Kingdom, could facultatively run on its back legs. I wouldn't be surprised if Hoyangosaurus could, even though it it doesn't look like it was as built for it as Solidosaurus was. That's I interesting. Would be I'm looking at more accurate reconstructions right now, and you're correct. And I rescind my criticism. It's a weird animal. It shouldn't look like a Stegosaur at all. It, it also, right? Like it doesn't have the tall neural like neural arches that Stegosaurs have. But I can't tell if that's in this or not. Uh, did we cut one tell. in half and then take a look at it? No, but it gives kind of the back tallness, yeah, a tallness to it. Mm. And this looks like it looks like the back gets a tallness to it, like right after the shoulder. But I can't tell. It's it's subtle if it's there. Very subtle. Okay. Yeah. And those extra osteoderms you pointed out there. I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of a nod to it being early, closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little early. Yeah, possible. I mean, right. So this is a Joseon, I want to say, like 168 million years ago or something. 166, 165. Okay, so right, so pre-Oxfordian, Middle Jurassic, the end of the Middle Jurassic, but like. We should have stegosaurs from like the very beginning or the very end of the early Jurassic. Hmm. Oh, ghost languages exist. Yeah, I'm curious, right? Like, because like if I can, I can squint and I can basically like I I can see how you could turn like get get a skeletosaurus out of this and vice versa. But especially one of the one of the key things about it is we know its skull pretty well. And uh, if you've looked at stegosaur skulls before, they're real narrow. This guy's isn't. It's super wide. It's almost ankylosauri. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, what I'm unfortunately learning is that many things I find aesthetically displeasing about the design are actually accurate. Like, I was going to criticize it for having a big, wide, ugly head. Like, it, it, which That's feels right. very Jurassic World pilled, you know. It's it's what the Velociraptors do. Um, but it really had that. Head head is just ugly. Right. This is a real dilemma for me that I think when we rate these designs, which I think we should do soon. Yes, um, I agree. It's going to be very would difficult. We, would we care to see them fight at all? I would like to see them get wrecked by oh. a Yangchuanosaur. We should also mention that the, the the formation that these are from in the game is not the one they're from in real life. Is it not? Right, because in the uh, in the paleontology in like the hub, I think it's a different formation from the. What 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 formation do you think that they say it's from? Do they say it's from the Shishigo? The... No, I think they say it's. Hold on, let's find this. Someone go to the wiki, the JW two wiki. On it. 
They say wonders. it's from the Z Ziliu Jing. I don't. I, I, mm. Right. Something like that. Is that another name for the for the Shashi Miao? Because they say that Chunkingasaur is also like a lot of these things are from the Shashi Miao. How do you spell it, Dalton? C i l i u j i n g. I'm googling it. Um, okay, I'll leave you to do that then. It's also in the the Sichuan Basin. Um, it looks like it's probably a different formation, but hmm. um, in the same in the same place. What I find interesting though is that all these things. So they say what's from the Zulu Jing. They're saying that it's Chunkingosaurus, Huayangosaurus, Mementosaurus, Gigantspinosaurus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, like, those are all Shashimao. It's like yes. they just renamed it. It's a yep. little, it's just a little weird. I think in the first game, too, they like, some of it was from the, uh, the Yunnan province. Hmm. Like in the uh, in the Lufang, but, but I might be misremembering. Like incorrectly, they in the game they had it coming from the Lufang. Wait a minute, I think I might know what's going on. Is he sleuthing it out? I'm sleuthing it out. Are you doing your your Sherlock Holmes ritual? A little heroin and cocaine? Always. All right, I was wrong. Never mind. There's ah. like nothing. <laughs> There's almost nothing from the uh, Zulu Jing formation. No, nothing with a confident ID is all in depth. Right, it's stuff. all indeterminate. I was wondering if maybe Sinosaurus came from the Zulu Jing, and they made it the Zulu Jing because they wanted Dilophosaurus to come from there because they were making Dilophosaurus the same as Sinosaurus. Um, but I, Sinosaurus is from somewhere else. It's not from the Zulu Jing. And all of these things that are from the Zulu Jing in the game are actually from the Sashi Mao. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. is from the lower Lufang, right? I think so. I can check. Ooh. Yeah, why not? That's... We're scientists. We're being we're doing good science. Yeah, it's Lufang. Well, while we check, we should feed this to something or yes, try to have it find why? something. Why can't it just get along, man? Oh, He's what happened to my guy. I had I had some carnivores ready to go. Oh, what were you gonna? Possible. What were you gonna feed it to? Um, so I've got, I got—I made some Metriacanthosauruses earlier that it has a chance of fighting, um, because Metriacanthosaurids have been found in the same place as Huyangosaurus. So not Metriacanthosaurus, but uh, something like it. Uh, if you make it vulnerable and weak, I, I had to beef these guys all the way up, and I had to kind of. Uh, we can we can these fellows um so we don't have a so because otherwise it's just a bloodbath it, it's yeah. a one shot it's yeah. a eucalyptus situation again i can't wait till we feature this guy yeah this is a beautiful design but we'll get to that someday maybe next time right now what? which metric anthosaurids are from the shashi Mao? that's not uh sin raptor right that's no, young tyrannosaurus uh, Gastosaurus. Yeah. And gas. I think Young Tronosaurus is also, though, from the Sashi Mount. I was wondering why he was shuffling like that, and I realized you had to set that up. I put it at three times speed, because otherwise <laughs> it's going to take forever for them to initiate a fight. Look at him go. He, he do be shuffling. He's stepping. If yes, you step yeah, to me, you'll get the tail. Oh, also, also Sinraptor. But Sinraptor Hepengensis, which is probably not actually Sinraptor. And do small steppy. God, what a gorgeous animal. Intolerant, weak, vulnerable. <laughs> me. <laughs> you just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you're very tolerant. Yeah, let me show this. Oh, thank you. So I can see what it's doing. It's roaming. It's starting to get hungry. With those traits, it's basically like a right wing influencer, right? Yeah. <laughs> intolerant and weak and vulnerable <laughs> vulnerable Very to pizza cool. boxes hey Dalton I'm gonna ask the question what question did I try yes combat's on because they, they've fought in this map before do you want to this check this is where again? I tested it 
No, I'm not even going to do the double check because I know that the, I know they will fight. There, there we, we go. go. Fight. Wow. Hit it. Whack it. Bop it. It's like the laziest. <laughs> Agamize it. Yeah. Ooh. Get him. The little squeaks. It almost sounds apologetic. It's like oh. I'm, I didn't. I don't want to do this. Pacifist. To you, you're giving me no option. <sighs> Oh. oh. No, he's fine. Oh, okay. He got back that, up. That's normally how they get killed, is yeah. the bite to the neck. He's too cool. He's, he's using the, the plants for cover. Whack him. Oh, he gave up. Uh, All right, a stalemate, which is probably- Wow, like he's really- a fight like this would have gone. <laughs> he really, <laughs> he, he really moved, moved out of effectively. <laughs> he did. So that's, that's not a that's, stalemate, that's a big, <laughs> like, if a herbivore avoids being preyed upon... Okay, fair herbivore. enough. Yeah. Now, what's the relative health on them? That's got 87. 87, and that's got 77. So I'd say Hwaiangasaurus won the fight. Hwaiangasaurus oh, yeah. did win. Let's go to the species viewer. Yes, he please. Lives to, he lives to Hwaiang another day. The animal we edited <laughs> to win won. Well, <laughs> you know, we gotta, we gotta help him out. We're big, smart paleontologists. We're, we're justified in putting our finger on the scale. <laughs> Line go up. <laughs> now it seems that the stegosaur well the thyreophrin thyreophrin nope, being him. the uh the clade that contains both stegosaurs and we and uh ankylosaurs uh their solution to predation was uh my solution to a bad uh, saturday night you whack it you whack it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to say that hoyangosaurus is a fuck i don't know it's kind of cute i i want to say c but like my heart is telling me a b i'm gonna say c i'm gonna start it off at average it's fine there are six other stegosaurs in this game uh, i concur well no i'm gonna give it a b it's cute enough to be a b tier for me i can't in good conscience like rank it at the same level as the jurassic world velociraptor Mm. which we gave a C tier. I see. But I also can't in good conscience rank it at the same level as the Jurassic Park Velociraptor. It's a B tier. It's okay. It's okay. pretty, it's nice. It's not special. It's nice. I think it's cute. I like that they, they seem to have captured the hip spikes. Um, I think Chunkingosaurus is cuter, spoiler alert. Ooh. Um, I'm also torn between C and B. I would be comfortable. I'm going to put my vote for C, but higher in the C rank than like the highest in the C rank we have right now, right? Higher than the Jurassic World Velociraptor. But if it shakes out to be a B, I won't be upset about it. I, mm, I'm really torn as well. I really want to put it at like either C plus or B minus because essentially, yeah. It's super cute. I love the noises it makes. Um, I'm happy it's in the game. I'm just disappointed that they didn't include the things that make Hoyangasaurus interesting. Although I bet that those are due to the fact that it's on the Stegosaurus rig. It has to be rigged like all the other Stegosaurus, which pretty much all you uh, like kind of looked very similar and this guy looks really weird unless they did well what they did with Mudaburosaurus in this game where they had it on the like general hadrosaur rig in the last game and then they made it its own unique animation set in this game which was weird but not unappreciated um I would have loved if they redesigned it to make it a little bit more of the weird little dude it is but I, I, I look at those big old cow eyes and he has stolen my heart a little bit, so I'm going to be nice and put him in B tier. All right, Amelia, it's all up to you. I'm giving it a C because it's not offensive, but it's also, it feels very generic. And like, I feel like a lot of the other stegosaurs are done better. Like, it's cute, but it's not like, I don't know. I'm not going to be thinking about it when we stop recording. So... Yeah, All right. I'll, I'll be okay. 
This so should I it. should I rank it above the Jurassic World or yes above the Jurassic World Velociraptor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yes. So mm-hmm. like we're now officially deciding that left to right is within the tier, which is better. Yes. yes. Okay. Provided we make a statement about it. If we don't make a statement about it and forget it. Well, we just we made a statement it. about it. Yeah. In this case. Yes. In this case. So for all future things, the closer you are to the letter, the better you are. Indeed. Um, All right. So we're yeah. going to rank Huayangasaurus. Let me make sure I find the right Stegosaur. It's so hard to tell them all apart. So Huayangasaurus is officially ranked uh, as the B- C tier. C tier. And it's higher than plus. the Jurassic World Velociraptor. C plus tier. Yes. All right. Everybody, are you ready? I'm so excited. I'm ready. It's time to spin the wheel. Spin. Let's go for it. That wheel. If it's Chunkingosaurus, I'm going to. Are you kidding? Oh, Sungaripterus. All right. I thought we were going to get Dryosaurus. We were going to have another episode where we had nothing to say. I know, our first pterosaur, Sungaripterus. Yeah. All right. So tune in next week, guys, for the first pterosaur we'll feature on this episode. Or on this. For the first pterosaur episode we'll feature on this channel, I can speak. And a cool one at that. Right. I love it. Spoiler, Remember like to do what Alex lot. does on a lonely Saturday night and whack that like and subscribe button. <laughs> God damn it, Amelia, your laugh is so fucking weird. <laughs> <It's> so <funny. laughs> Gee golly, thank you. Wow, that's kind.